In this lesson, we are going to create user in database. The database we're gonna use is MongoDB and the package we are going to use to connect to MongoDB is Mongoose. At the end of this lesson, you will have an admin user in your database and you can try sign in with that user or for the next lesson, you will be able to register new user. So let's go for creating admin user using MongoDB. The first step for this lesson is installing MongoDB on your computer. Go to this address docs.mongodb.com slash manual slash administration slash install dash community and based on your operating system select one of these links and then when you go in the details page there should be an instruction for installing MongoDB. Of course you can use the Mongo Atlas if you like to use cloud database but I highly suggest you to install a local version of MongoDB. After installing, it's time to go to code and open your terminal. Create a new terminal in the root folder of JS Amazona. You need to install Mongoose. It's like an ORM object relational mapper that make it possible to work with JavaScript object inside your node application and save those JavaScript object as a MongoDB document inside MongoDB collections. After installing this, it's time to connect to MongoDB. To do that, what I'm going to do is to go to server.js. Right before app, I'm going to import mongos from mongos. After importing mongos, it's time to connect to that mongos dot connect and for connect the first parameter is mongodb url i'm going to use that like this config dot mongodb underline url will implement config.js later and the second parameter for mongos is a bunch of options we are going to use these options to prevent any warning and errors in the console. The first one is use new URL parser and set it to true. Second one is use unify topology to true. And the last one is use create index and set it to true. By having these three settings, there shouldn't be any error or warning in your console. After connecting, I'm going to use catch method to catch any errors in connecting to the database. Inside that, I'm just going to console log error dot reason. So if there is an error, I will get a message in the terminal. It's time to go for creating config.js and define MongoDB URL there. Click on Explorer. Inside backend, right click new file and set file name to config.js. What I'm gonna do in this file is install .env package. Let's install that. Open terminal, npm, install dot env and press enter by using this package you can define environment variable inside a file inside your root folder of js amazona so i right click here create new file and set file name dot env it should be dot env so this file do not have any name and it just has env extension the format to set environment variable for this setting is like this enter variable name like mongo db underline url and put equal sign and then it's time to set a value for this environment variable uh, the default address when you install mongodb is this mongodb colon slash slash 
localhost slash and it's time to enter your database name. I'm going to set the database name to JS Amazona DB. That's it. Let's go for config.js and read this environment because we are going to use that in the server.js to connect to the MongoDB. Inside config.js, first of all, import.env, port.env from .env. And after importing .env, you need to call config function of .env. By calling this function, .env read this file and fill process.env with the content inside this file. So here it's time to export config. Export default. I'm going to default an object. And this object contains mongodb underline URL and set it to process.env.mongodb URL. Process.env.mongodb URL is the value that you enter in .env file right here. Great. Let's go to server.js and import config js here i'm going to get rid of g here and press tab and automatically config is gonna be imported right here at this point we want to make sure that we successfully connected to the mongodb to do that after connect and right before that catch i use then and inside then i define a function and inside that console log connected to mongodb message if you open your console and stop your backend project and run it again you should see this message after serve at this address it says connected to mongodb if you have this message by having this code for connecting to mongodb it means that you successfully installed your database and connected to database. If you have an error here, like MongoDB network error, it means that there is an error in your installation and you need to follow the document in this address to install it correctly. Let's go back to plan. And at this point, after connecting to MongoDB, it's time to create a model in Mongo's. Go to Explorer, inside backend, create a folder for models. In models, we are going to save information about Amazon users. Create new file, set file name to usermodel.js. And inside user model, I'm going to define an schema. And inside that schema, I'm going to create a model based on that schema. First of all, start by importing mongoose from mongoose and it's time to define user schema. const user schema and it's an object from mongoose.schema class. mongoose.schema and the first parameter for a schema is a bunch of fields for user. For sure, the first field is going to be the name of user and the type of it is a string and I set validation for require to true. It means that if you want to save a user and the name of user is empty, you should get an error and it shouldn't be saved inside your database. The second field is email. Email type is a string and it's required and it's an index by setting to index it's gonna be faster to get access to an item based on the email in the user collection and it's unique to set unique to true so it's not possible to have two email with same value and go for the next property it's gonna be password and password type is a string and also it is required to 
What would be the next one? It's is admin. Is admin is an important field because by setting is admin as a Boolean value, we can define admin user and regular user, you know, the user of e-commerce to buy stuff. It's required is true, so it cannot be empty or null. And the default value for admin user is false. So let's get rid of extra query bracket and save it. It's gonna be like this. I just created a user schema and it's time to create a model based on it. After creating a model, a collection with the same name of this model is gonna be created inside the database. To create a model, use this line, const user model equal to mongoose dot model. You know, there is no new here because we are using model function. It's not a class. And pass two parameter. The first parameter is the name of this collection in the database. And second one is the user schema. We are asking MongoDB to create a collection named user based on this field. Great. Let's export that. Export default user model. That's it about creating a user model. And after that, it's time to create a route to save a admin user with user model. Right click on backend new file set file name to user route dot js and what we wanna do in the user route is to define a get method to create a admin user. First of all, let's import express from express and create router from express const router equal to express dot router great let's create a get method from this router router dot get and the address is create admin inside the responder to this address i am going to define an async function that accept request and response and inside that i want to define a try because if there is an error of i want to show an error to user and catch to detect any error inside the try part define a new user based on the user model const user equal to new user the capital user here comes from the user model it's much better to go to user model and set the name to user instead of user model and inside the user let's pass user info name is gonna be admin you can set it to your name email is gonna be admin at sign example.com and password let's set it to jsma zona good i just create an, an instance of this user but i need to call save const created user equal to await user dot save uh, there is a typo in the async here change it to async uh -huh. okay at this point the created user contain all information about this user into the database let's rest that send created user and by running this command we send back the created user information to the front end if there is an error what i need to do is to res status set the status to to 500 because it's an error and set message to error dot message okay it's time to import user get rid of r and as you see in the autocomplete it just recommends user with capital u it's very important it should be capital u and you when you press on it it's gonna be import right here if you don't have this suggestion that just type this import user from dot slash models slash user model great 
it's time to use user route inside server.js. What I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm going to rename that to user router because it's user router and rename this one here and at the end export default user router. We are good to go to rename this to user router like this and create a folder in backend set folder name to routers and move user router inside routers folder and click on move so the folder structure is like this in the backend there is a model inside model there is user model and there is a routers and inside that there is user router so save all files and go to server.js and write before slash api slash product i'm going to use user router it's gonna be like this app dot use the first parameter for use is the api path slash api slash users and the second one is user router it should be user select this one because it's gonna automatically import that for you and press tab make sure at the very beginning of your server.js you just imported user router right here it's time to test first of all open your terminal and make sure you do not have any error in the backend side before testing create admin go to user router and for admin user i'm going to set is admin to true because it's admin user and now it's time to test your create admin open your chrome http column slash slash local host column 5000 slash api slash users slash create admin and press enter you should get this result if it's not formatted you need to install json viewer this one from chrome extension and it just make your json content beautiful if you get any error it means that you didn't install your mongodb correctly or there is an error in your backend code great that's it for this lesson what we did in this lesson is connecting to mongodb database using env to define env environment variable using environment variable and what it does is to keep your project safe because mongodb url it's a secure data that you don't like to share with others through sharing your source code and that's why we are using this and we're not gonna make dot env part of our git repository to share that with others and also we just created user model and a router to create admin user for next lesson we are going to go for designing sign in a screen ui and then implement sign in in our e-commerce website until that lesson bye bye